one. Y'all were doing good on that last one. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I was saying, I need, I need a massage at some point this week. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's great about Acro. You can usually okay. find someone who will do uh -huh. that for you. And the flex whip, the ending position is uh, uh, boat float. We're going to V up. Mm -hmm. so okay. You really want to lean back enough to where you're leaning on the toes at. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Andrew, can you keep your hands up for a second? Mm -hmm. First for safety, once you feel comfortable, you can keep them down. Mm -hmm. There are a couple things you can do with the legs. You can either uh, either come up to a boat float like that. Yep. I think that's a powerful one for a view. If you're really bending, you can go even higher. So you can come up. All the way up to that. Mm -hmm. um, I think girls do like, like this one with a little stack like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty much a style one. Buckle when I go up. And yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> so that's the any position. So same fall, you will know be mindful of falling forward. And it's going to be the same same start from reverse bird. Where the pike. Zach's gonna go right through and we're gonna go right into the boat float, okay? So let's do it slow first. Huh. So it's here. Same thing, we're not gonna hold hands this time though. She signals by coming out. I'm gonna bring my toes in, mm -hmm. let her through. As she comes through, watch, we're in straddle back. Mm -hmm. Practice this first. Straddle, one, two, give a little bit of pop. Or you don't even have to pop, just enough to where you can pop off the toes and get your feet oh. onto the butt oh, in wow. this position. Bring the toes in, keep the hands there, walk them up for a bit. Because she could fall back or fall forward, easy peasy, right? Mm -hmm. And then she do that. So one motion coming through. Mm -hmm. Quick. So you can practice first with the, uh, the okay. straddle. Let's get your feet in place. <coughs> Learn how to um, transition the feet from the hips onto the butt and bring the toes in enough. Because your toes are really key for this one. Correct. To be able to uh, leverage to their back. And Zach, I see a lot of new flowers. <laughs> they won't. You guys have a good connection, right? So it's good. The left leg won't lean back enough, and then you just then you fall on your, on your feet. You really have to trust and lean back enough, and put enough weight where the toes are really leveraging you. It'll give you more stability to lean back that way. So this is what it looks like when you do it in a full motion. Right here. Oh, there, I come right up. Nice little whip. I'm not good at the back whips yet, but you could add that later on. Huh. So those two are similar.